Hello and welcome to the year four um, expectation parent expectation meeting for the year 2021 to 2022. Uh, my name is Mrs. Avellino um, and although I am not in year four, I cover a few classes here and there. Um, I'm going to talk you through kind of what the expectations are in year four for this year. Now, due to unusual circumstances, we continue to maintain a careful approach and are minimising parent meetings as much as possible. We're also aware that not all parents can be present at these meetings that we hold at the beginning of the year. And so that's why we've created these videos so that you can kind of go back and rewatch at your leisure just to remind you of kind of what year four is about. We've had two years of disrupted routines and things like that. Now we're back to what we were like before the pandemic. Um, so if you need a refresher or a reminder of how we run things, then this is the place to be. So in year four, you've got Mrs. Langer, who is the year group lead, but also the class teacher for 4L. In 4MK, you've got Mrs. Marsano and Miss Kemp. 4C, you've got Miss Clark. And 4J, you've got Miss Jenkins. Teaching assistant for year four is Mrs. Gotobed and phase leader also for uh, phase two, three and four. Years two, three and four is Mrs. Lang. Start and end of day procedures. Similar to year three, year four starts at 8.45. The bell goes, the children need to be lined up by 8.45 in the playground, run in the key stage one playground, run by the toilets um, and the key stage two hall. Teachers will collect them in the morning from there. When dropping your children off, it does give you a, a quick opportunity to leave a, a short message with your teacher. If you need a longer discussion, please, please, please organise this for after school or send an email into the office and we'll be sure to be, get back to you as soon as possible by giving you a phone call. If your child is late, so after 8.45 and the class have gone in, then they need to enter through the key stage two hall um, and they will be met by our school attendance officer, Nancy Hall. She waits in the key stage two hall and she'll record them as late and make sure that they're registered um, properly. We end at 3.10 um, and at that time, the children will be brought out the same place that they are dropped off in in the morning. So around by the key stage two, key stage one playground toilets and the key stage two hall. Um, you can collect your child from there at 310. If you are running late and you just let the, the you can let the office know. If not, um, and you're running late, if you're later than 320, then you will be uh, able to pick your child up from the main office again, where our school attendance officer Nancy Hall will be sitting with the, the late pupils, late pickups um, there. If you're child is consistently late or that you're picking up the child consistently late, then our school tendency officer, parent support advisor may be in contact with you. Attendance. All children are expected to be in school every day. Attendance is a top priority at Rush Green. Failure to attend school again may result in our parent support advisor, Nancy Hall, getting in contact. Children with under 90% attendance may receive a fine from the local authority. And we do take attendance super, uh, really important at Rush Green Primary School because we can we see the effects of children that are their attendance is low or they're not regular attendees. We see the effects on their learning over time um, because we do fit a lot into the curriculum. We do get a lot done during lesson time. And so a lot of as well, our learning kind of follows on day to day. So if they miss one day, then that's quite a key element to what they can produce at the end of the day. Uh, here, you want to just cast your eye. These are some of the subjects that year four explore throughout the year. Not all at the same time. We kind of run half termly basis for some of our subjects. So history for half term, geography for half term, art for half term, DT, and they switch and interchange throughout the year. Um, but there are some subjects that are core that need to be taught every single week. Um, and we ensure that those are in our time. Team. P, if you just have a look at your child's class, those are the days that you your child has PE. So please ensure that they have their kit, appropriate kit, correct kit for the day that they have PE. One thing I will stress, earrings 
are not allowed to be worn during pee. So please ensure that on your child's PE days that their earrings are taken out or that the child is trained to be able to take their own earrings out because teachers, we can't, um, we're not allowed to be able to take them out and we can't tape them up at the moment. It's either no earrings or if they've got earrings and they can't take them out then they unfortunately won't be able to participate in the PE lesson. Um, P kits, just make sure you've got the correct kit and ensure that everything is labelled clearly with the child's name and class so that if anything is lost it can make its way back to that child no problem. At Rush Green we do have high expectations for work, high standards in presentation but also content. We expect joint handwriting, we expect the formation of letters to be done correctly. We do have pen licence in year four, but that pen licence can be taken away at any point. Um, and so it is something to be earned, but it is also something to be maintained. We tap into previous learned skills that have, they've built on throughout the year. Obviously, with the two years of interrupted learning, we've got some catch up to do. We've got some uh, things to just make ensure that all gaps are filled and that children are not missing. Um, anything out and you won't have any missed opportunities. So we are working hard to ensure that that's happening. So we do expect your children um, to work hard also. Response to marking. So teachers, our teachers do spend time going, pouring through the books and marking the books. We do expect the children to take into the account these comments um, and respond accordingly. Reading diaries. Books are changed daily if they need to. I know some children take a little bit longer to read some of their books. Each time you read your, uh, with your child, please enter your initials um, or make a small comment in their reading diary. At Rush Green, parents are expected to read with their child every night. Children may wish to read in their heads and then talk to you about the text afterwards. This should still be marked with a signature or initials. Also make use of older siblings um, if they're available to listen to your child read also. Not hours. 10 to 15 minutes is more than enough. And it is a national statistic that children who read at home every night make better progress than those who don't. And that's just some facts just to back up what, why we push for a child being read with every night. Homework, spelling, maths and literacy homework will be handed out every Friday. Do expect the homework policy as well um, to be online and to be made available to you all very soon. The children are expected to complete their given homework and return it to the teacher by the following Wednesday. So they get it on a Friday, it's due on the Wednesday, which is plenty of time we've found for the child to complete their homework. If any help or support is required with the homework, please do not hesitate to see the class teacher. We are here to help at all times. Similarly, with their maths homework, it is set by maths teacher. So if they do need help, we do advise them to go to their maths teacher um, because the maths teacher will be able to help them in the, in the best way. But we encourage children to ask us for help if they need it before Wednesday. On Wednesday is a little bit too late for us. Um, so you've got Monday or Tuesday. If you've had a look at the homework and your child is struggling or need a little bit of um, extra help, we're more than happy to help, but just before Wednesday. Additional homework may be sent out on an ad hoc basis projects depending on kind of what we're doing at the time in school. Just another reminder, clothing, please, 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 please ensure that your children's clothing is all labelled with their name and class. At the end of the term, there's always such a vast amount of lost property. The lost property is put in a box and kept for one half term. It is your child's responsibility to look after their clothes. Labels really help them with this so that they can check the labels to make sure it's theirs. Please also encourage your child to become more independent. They're in year four now. It is down to them to remember their cardigans, book bags, water bottles, pack lunches. Especially at lunchtime, they can kind of come in, oh, my water bottle's outside. Please, please, please stress um, to your child how important it is for them to become independent in those areas. This is just a reminder, our stay out green policy, our behaviour policy still stands, has been um, around for years and we do find that it works best. If you need a reminder, pause the video now to have a read through what we expect for each of these behaviours. Um, this is the system and reward system we have in place for each of these. 
and obviously for warnings as well quite often a conversation is had when the warnings happen maybe just at the beginning of break for a couple of minutes had with that child to ensure that they know exactly why they were put on a blue warning and what would happen um, if they continued with those behaviours. And again, if you'd like to pause the video, this, these are the yellow and red behaviours. This is what we look at when we're looking at yellows or reds. Additional bits, just to finish us off. Pencils, pens are all rulers, rubbers, everything, all provided by the school, so your child has no need to bring anything in. We also discourage children bringing their own stuff in because quite often this can get lost and we don't want to, to risk that because children can get quite upset when their own things are lost. Art shirts, this is just a plug really if you've got any old shirts, mum's shirts, dad's shirts, older siblings shirts at home um, that you're thinking of throwing at, please, please, please send them in. Um, they are really useful for art, especially when we do painting and things like that, um, and they're just useful to have in class. So if you do, do have any spare shirts, please feel free to send them in. Snacks, shh, especially for break time, should be small and healthy, fruit or vegetable based. That's super important um, and in line with our food policy, which if you've got any queries on the food policy, it is on the website. Um, small and healthy, I stress the small because sometimes children come in with huge, huge, huge packets of crisps and they just don't manage to get through them as well. Um, quite often fruit and vegetable based keeps their brains running, picking over um, just before their lunch times as well. Trips are, uh, we are looking at getting trips up and running again this year, um, so just keep your ears peeled for that, um, and I'm sure we will let you know when we start to organise some trips in year four. That's everything. Thank you so much for listening. If you've got any questions, again, don't hesitate to talk to any of the class teachers, um, and we will see you around. Thank you. Bye.